all right guys uh, welcome back so in this video uh, let's solve this question uh, line trip so let me read out the question for you so there is a road which can be represented as a number line you are located at, at point zero of the number line and you want to travel from point zero to point x so basically it seems like uh, we are only talking about the positive part of the number line we are sitting at a point zero and we want to reach at a point x and back to point zero so basically we want to travel in a loop you want to go to zero to x and then come back to point zero fine you travel by car, okay, uh, which spends 1 liter of gasoline per unit of distance travelled. When you start at point zero, your car is fully fueled. Okay, its gas tank, gas tank contains maximum possible amount of fuel. So right now we are not uh, sure of the capacity of the tank, but when you are starting your journey, your tank is full. And for every unit of distance travelled, you are spending 1 liter of gasoline. Okay, there are N gas stations located in the points A1, A2, AN. Okay, when you arrive at a gas station, you fully refuel your car. Okay, so we refill that tank completely. So it seems like this gas station, uh, from the constraints, it seems like this gas stations lie between point zero and x. You can see even a to a n points lie between zero and x. They're also not equals to right. Okay, so we have a point zero, we have a point x on the positive part of the number line, and uh, there are n gas stations in the middle. Fine. Note that you can refuel only at gas stations and there are no gas stations at point zero and x. So they have clearly mentioned there are no gas stations at the starting point mm -hmm. and uh, starting point zero and ending point zero, but also at the x where, where we have to take turn, right? You have to calculate the minimum possible volume of the gas tank in your car in liters, okay? That will allow you to travel from point zero to point x and back to point zero. Fine, so first line contains now integer t, okay? So number of test cases. And then for every test case, we are given two things. First is n, the number of gas station between between our points, x, uh, the extreme point, extreme point where you have to reach, and the second line contains n. Okay, describes uh, where the gas stations are located. So it's better to take an example and understand. So let's take this example. Uh, first test case. So there are three gas stations, and we have to reach seventh point. Okay, cool. You have to reach uh, seventh point, and gas stations are located at one, two, and five. Cool. Uh, so the question asks, we want to find the minimum possible volume of gas tank such that uh, we can travel from point zero to X and back. We have to come back to zero as well. So let me just take an example and make you understand. So copy down the test cases here. So let's just uh, try to understand, for example, this, right? So let's understand this test case three, seven. Let's try to understand this. Try to make sense of this. So there are three gas stations at 1, 2, and 5. So initially you are at 0. Initially you are at 0. There is a gas station at 1. At one. There is a gas station at 2. There is a gas station at 5. And it, after all, you have to reach 7. Fine. We are required to find the minimum value of gas tank. For every unit distance traveled, we consume one unit, uh, one unit of fuel. And at every station, uh, we refuel the tank completely. Okay, we start our journey from here. To reach here, to reach this point 1, uh, we know that we need at least one liter in our, uh, we need at least one liter of fuel in our gas, uh, in our, uh, I guess, car, right? They are traveling by car, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're traveling by car. Anyway, so you have reached uh, point one, you're completely refueled. Right now I'm thinking, okay, one makes sense to me. One makes sense to me. So what I'm basically doing is, uh, since uh, I know this is a question, this will be a very simple question, and there would be a simple math trick somewhere over here involved. So I'm trying to figure out if I can just solve it greedily. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm, a, I'm basically applying the greedy solution. Okay, so from one to two, we have to go, right? So if I go, if I want to go from one to two, I have to travel two minus one, one unit of distance. So again, uh, I have to have at least one liter of gas tank. Fine. From two to five, we have to reach. From two to five to reach, we have to go from two to three, two to three, three to four, four to five. So we have to travel three unit distance. So we need at least three liters, right? You can have more, but I'm just thinking about the, what is the minimum possible value? It's three liter, right? And we have to reach from five, uh, maybe let's say there was some, some other point, uh, uh, maybe, uh, okay, fine, let's keep it seven. So seven is the value of my X, right? So seven is the value of X, fine. Now what you need to do is, uh, at five, there is a gas station. So I have to go from five to seven and come back to five until I can refuel again. So I need to have at least two into two liters, right? So I need to have at least four liters. Otherwise, there'll be a problem, right? So uh, uh, because see, from five, if you go to seven, then you have to come back to five. So you need to have at least four liters. 
so let's take one more example let's say you are from zero and you want to reach uh, maybe 10 yeah let's say this is the value of x and you have gas stations uh, at point uh, let's say one you have a gas station at let's say point four you have a gas station at let's say point point six and maybe uh, let's say you have a gas station at seven fine so you start from here you start from here to go to one you need at least one liters right so I'll, I'll write here to reach this point you need at least one liters in your tank so to reach from one to this uh, four point you need at least three liters to reach from four to six you need at least two liters to reach from six to seven you need at least again one liter but here you understand that you have to go here and then come back right you have to also come back so to go to seven you need three you need three liters and three liters and you also have to come back to seven and, and uh, like before you can refill your tank so you need three liters for three liters so what is the minimum capacity of tank it's basically maximum for all this right maximum of one three two one and six and that will be my answer so that's basically what we want to do we want to basically find out what is the uh, what is the minimum what is the minimum what is the minimum to read from this point to this point it's just we have to take care about the last pair the minimum is right now uh, the minimum is two into so what is this so this is two into x minus uh, an right cool so we'll just take the so that's my answer if i want to write it in a, write it in a formula it would be something like this it is max of uh, it is max of a1 minus a0 a2 minus a1 a3 minus a2 so on so on and 2 into x minus an okay so yeah so i'm um, let's just solve this question let's just code it up quickly so first is test case is fine and then we are given n and x so i'll just take the input of this so the varieties are very small if i was not wrong yeah it's very small so we can just use a vector of int so let's just take the input okay we have taken the input now we want to go from 0 to x fine so what was the last stop so initially the last stop is 0 right then I'll go from i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. So what's my answer? I'll initialize the answer to some very small value. Some very small value. Okay. Uh, anyway, since you're sure that uh, x is at least 2, um, maybe you can initialize to some value in the middle, but it's fine. No problem. Uh, we can just start with a very minimum value. So answer equals to max of answer ai array of i minus last. Right, so I'm just taking maximum of all of them and then update last last equals to area of i and at last we have to do one more thing uh, we also have to consider this case right so we also will do answer equals to max of answer 2 into x minus the last value last value would be area of uh, will be uh, a n only right so after this for loop ends uh, this last will be a n only fine uh, we'll just print it then Okay, let's just see and uh, run it. It looks fine to me. So we are taking the input here. So initially, uh, so we are starting from zero. We go from a1. We come here and find out a1 minus a0. Okay, then update our answer. Then we come at this point, update our answer, so on and so forth. And at the last, we update our answer by comparing it to x minus an. Fine. Uh, let's just run it and see if it works. Oh, sorry. 9, 7, 13. Okay, am I doing something wrong or what? Uh, I think I'm doing some silly mistake here. You might have get, you might have already found out what my mistake is. Just give me a second. If I'm reading, I'm doing something wrong while reading or... Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> this has to be... Like, I have to... Multiply... <laughs> 2 into x minus last, right? 437, right? Yeah, of course. So, this is 2 into x minus n, right? I, I think you already found out that. We have to go from this 7 to 10 and then come back. So, 3, 3, 2 times. Fine. 437. Cool. Uh, let's just submit this and we'll see if it works. Uh, yeah, uh, it works. So, yeah, that's that for this video. I'll see you in the next one.